Hi, my name is Larry LaMarche. I am the safety officer with Wasabi Paddling Club. We're here today to do a demonstration of the on-boat CPR drill that Wasabi has developed in those cases where getting immediately to help is not possible and some sort of medical assistance has to be provided. For purposes of this demonstration today, we are starting the demonstration from the point that the medical emergency has been identified. It's been assessed that something needs to be done and 911 has been called already from the boat. Uh, as a note, we require a cell phone on every boat and everybody should. Here, Gwen, hold my blade, please. Ready, Satina, we're gonna take her back. And we're gonna unzip this life jacket and get it off. Let's slide her a bit. Okay. And a little more. Okay, now we gotta get that light jacket off the team, so we're gonna work together. We take that on first. Get through. And just a bit. There we go. And the life jacket comes off. Now we're gonna position her back on that seat. So we've got a surface to do our compressions again. I'm going to straddle her, holding her with my knees so that I'm helping a little bit to support her. I'm going to be sure that head just goes back a bit, keeps her airway open. I'm going to find her breastbone, set the heel of my hand against it, stack my fingers on top of that hand. I'll be compressing her chest two inches at least down. I'm not going to do that because we're simulating this rescue but we would be doing a series of 30 compressions. We'll go ahead and do that. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and nine and 10 and 11 and 12 and 15 and 14 and 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 and 19 and 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Satina would lean forward, open her mouth would be open because she would be unconscious. She would plug her nose and breathe, breathe. We aren't going to do that either. I would do another set of compressions. One and two and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 and 16 and 18 and 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30. Breathe, breathe. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and Eight and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen and fourteen and fifteen and sixteen and seventeen and eighteen and nineteen and twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Breathe, breathe, and we would continue to do this as the boat moved to a position where we could exit Janet onto a more secure surface in which case we would continue the CPR in a series of 30 compressions with two breaths until medical help arrived and told us that they were prepared to take over. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one more time, kind of showing you what happens if the person is a little bit taller. So once she had slumped over and we had identified that there was a medical emergency, I, her benchmate, would unzip that life jacket the person behind her would remove it and pass it forward to the person in front of her. We would ease her back so that she, we were able to put that back on this bench in order to give us a place to do those compressions. Cindy would move in to hold her hips up. I would still straddle her. Just to give that little extra support, place my hands as I did before, right on that breastbone. My weight is right over those hands. We would do the compressions, one and two and three and four and five and six and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and 12, 14 and 14 and 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 and 19 and 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, breathe. Breathe. One and two and three and four 
and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 11 and 12, 13 and 14 and 15 and 16, 15 and 18 and 19 and 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Breathe, breathe, and good to go. All this would be happening while the paddlers were moving the boat to a location once again where we could get a more firm surface for us to do CPR in a more conventional way. Larry? Hi, I'm back again and that was the CPR drill as you saw. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, just as a reminder, if you have any questions about CPR or a procedure like this, you should check with your local authorities and your local agencies to see if this needs to be something that they should review. This procedure has not been reviewed locally. It has been adopted by our club because we recognize that the need may exist to do something on water at some time. If you have any questions at all, you can contact Wasabi Paddling Club uh, by going to our web website, www.wasabiusa.org. Thanks.